For this problem, we want to use transformations and the graph of f of x equals x squared to graph g of x equals x minus 3 squared plus 2. g of x is equal to f of x minus 3 plus 2. Subtracting 3 from x means that we will shift the graph to the right by 3 units. So our new points are at 2, 1, and 5, 4. Connecting the points, we get the graph of f of x minus 3. Adding 2 to the function means that we will shift our new graph up by 2 units. So our new points are now at 5, 6, and 2, 3. Connecting these points, we get the graph of g of x, and this is the final answer.